There is a question in Japanese. Uh, you put one earphone in, that'll be in English. Okay, good evening all, and welcome to England's press conference. Joined by, to my left, head coach Steve Borthwick, and to his left, Captain Courtney Laws. Um, we will be taking uh, questions. Please raise your hand and wait for the microphone. We'll wait for the interpretation to finish before moving to the next question. So first question, please. Hi, Steve. Um, congrats on the win. Um, what are your immediate thoughts from that? Two from two got the job done. Yeah, the players uh, have done tremendously well. I think that was a, a really tough test match against a really well-coached Japanese side um, who clearly came with a, a tactical plan and played the game differently to, I think, anybody else in the world plays. And the players did, did, did tremendously well through that game to get the result. Do you mind how you win as long as you do win? Um, I think the, ultimately, at the, at the end of the day, the players find a way. And that's the, that's the important thing that they find a way. And um, in these conditions, it's challenging. It was challenging for both teams. You see a Japan team that kicked the ball 37 times today. I'm not sure when you'd see a Japan team that kicks the ball 37 times. And that gives you a sign of the nature of it. The Fiji win earlier on tonight and scored one try off a box kick. Um, it tells you a lot about what's going on, what what the challenge is. So for the players to go there tonight and. Uh, find a way of scoring four tries and ultimately the, the cohesion built through the game and we knew every bit of information was telling us about that last quarter was going to be the important quarter. It was going to be a tight, we talked a week about, we felt this game could be tight and the last quarter is where we need to accelerate and, and the boys did that. Courtney, can I ask you about your try? Um, have you ever been assisted with a header before? <laughs> Talk no, us through it. No, it's, yeah, quite a lucky try but... You know, I'll take them where they come, to be honest. Um, no, it was, it, I mean, yeah, it was, it was a good bit of luck for us. And like Steve said, in these conditions, you, you take what you what you give them, really. Did George actually tell you to go and score the try in case it was given? And does no, that no. show the intelligence, I suppose, of actually scoring it? Uh, um, well, I, I saw it ricocheted off his head, so I, I went and scored the try just in case. But I was, I was pretty sure that it had gone backwards and then come off his head. I told the ref on the way out, so... Um, yeah, I, I had a good idea that it was going to get given anyway. Courtney, how hard were the conditions? It looked like the ball was slippery all over the place. Yeah, it was, it was tough. Even when uh, you got a good grasp of, it, grasp of it, you're going into contact and it's, it's, it's kind of can feel it almost spilling out of your hands sometimes before you've even made contact and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's actually really, really quite challenging at the minute because it's just so greasy. You're, it's hot, it's really humid, so you're, you're really sweaty and, yeah, it makes for uh, pretty much like a wet weather game out there. You, you scored four tries tonight despite that. What, what sort of spring ball can that be for your, for your attack moving forward? Yeah, I think we showed um, definitely in glimpses how good our attack can be um, and we'll, we'll continue to work on it. Uh, I think we're getting better every day, and, and that's the main thing. We're taking steps forward, and um, yeah, coming later on in the competition, we're, we're, we're hoping we're firing on all cylinders. Hi, Steve. Um, can you just sort of appraise Ben Earl's uh, performance tonight? Because I know that you'd obviously, a while ago, you'd sort of had a word with him about what he needed to improve, but it feels like at the moment, you know, he's, and especially in the sort of latter stages of matches is really coming into his own and his engine seems to kind of take him to a, a different level. You must be very pleased. Yeah, I thought he I thought he played really well. And I think what he's done, um, if we go back to the Six Nations, there was some, he, was, he was on the bench for the first couple of games of the Six Nations and we had some conversations about what I felt that he could do better and, add and, and build in his game. And to his immense credit, He's gone and then finished the season brilliantly and carried that into into this into this tournament. And I think um, what you see with this, the, the other note you say, you talk about the strength we have in our back row. When you start thinking about so the way Courtney played tonight, uh, Billy come back on in Lutz, who I think every time he delivers every time. That's the nature of the play, Lutz is, and you've got Tom Curry and Jack Willis 
Uh, George Martin was playing at blindside flanker for a period tonight. You start seeing there's, there's a lot of strength and depth in that position. And do you have any injury issues tonight? Or? I haven't received any medical report, but I think um, uh, there was a uh, Freddie Stewart looked like he had a dead leg. Um, I don't know how bad or any indications of it at this stage. I'll get that all the medical report at the end of tonight. いや、ガヘッド、プレイス。あ、クリエイティブ強いよ、スタッフ君も。ステイブ久しぶりです。あの、日本のことはね、よくご存知ですけども、あの、どれぐらいの範囲でこう想定通りで想定外のものがありました
players of quality that are going to start coming back. You know, when Farrell becomes available next week, Tom Curry, who's only played a couple minutes in this tournament, will become available the following week. And I think I said this many times. I said the team was preparing for the tournament. I said the team had immense quality throughout it that they want to perform on the biggest of stages. And again, the boys showed that tonight. Thanks, Steve. Any further questions? Nick. Yeah, Steve, just on that, with Owen coming back, um, a great problem to have, isn't it, with the way George has played? Um, how do you sort of ha handle that? Is it just partly at this point to negotiate the matches you've got in this pool and then almost uh, have a sort of either a shootout or put them together for something down the line? You know, fingers crossed you get to that knockout sort of stage. You describe it as a problem. I describe it as well, a fantastic squad of players that I have the privilege to work with. Strength and depth across the squad that I'm sure a lot of countries would look um, enviably, em in an envious manner for. So I see I've got the privilege to work with these great players and we'll continue to work this week. We play Chile next week and that's our sole focus, nothing beyond Chile. We build towards Chile next Saturday in Lille and I, I expect there to be another huge English um, contingent in the crowd who again, I think it's important I know I said it in the week, I said it last week as well those supporters out there were outstanding outstanding they pay a lot of money to come and travel overseas and follow this team and we're very fortunate to have them <laughs> OK I'm not seeing any further hands raised, so thank you very much, Stephen Courtney. The mix zone will open in five minutes' time. Oh, it's